Okay, welcome back. Today we're talking about pages and the inspector palette. In the inspector palette, we've just covered text wrapping, and now we're moving on to text. And there are quite a few options in here, so I want to try to move forward relatively quick. I need to get rid of this image. And uh, it's great because I have a lot of text already placed in here. The first option under the text palette, which is the little T here, and when you hover over these, you'll get a little yellow uh, cue card, basically, that says uh, text inspector. And if we have over here, I'll say graphic inspector and whatnot. The first option underneath is the text text inspector, and that covers color, spacing, and your margins. Now, these I like to use on the bar right up above the document. I find I'm using these a little bit more than the inspector, but you can use either one. And in here, first option we have is color. And if we want to change the color of the text, let's say we want the first line of text here, or maybe the page number to be a different color. I select that page number, it's highlighted in blue, showing that it's selected, I click the color, and now I have some options here. These, the color options I have are a crayon box, and if we go over to the left here, we have the color spectrum wheel. In this case, we're not seeing a whole lot of colors. Um, it looks like a black circle, like we don't have a lot of choice, but if we come out of that to the white, you can see we have the full rainbow and spectrum of colors. We can use sliders and adjust the slider scale, RGB scale. And if you go through, we could, uh, I have a whole color palette um, tutorial online here, and you can select one of those. But you can change the color of your text. In this case, I'll make the text a uh, strawberry. And that's how we change. We just close this out. Um, oh, and really quick, the other thing I want to show you is if you want to steal a color that's already inside your document so you're sure you have the same exact color, you can grab the magnifying glass and change that. So let's change it to this blue here. You can see inside that magnifying glass right there, it's actually um, picking up the colors that I hover over. So actually, if we see that uh, little uh, pink there inside that video clip, I can grab that pink color by hovering over it and selecting that. And now you can see it's picked up that pink color and now my seven is pink. So text, aligning text is the next option. If I select text, we can align it center, justify it to the left or right, and we can space it out. It will do the character spacing for you. And in this case, if we had an image in there, you could do the alignment with uh, the cells and the alignment of individual cells. So uh, character spacing above and before Paragraphs is located right here. It's grayed out because I don't have some paragraphs in there right now. And for time's sake, I forgot a lot to cover. I'm just going to move on a little bit faster here. Uh, here we have some, I'm going to select some text. Character spacing in between the characters. You can see there's a lot of space jumping in between those characters as I move this out. As I bring it back in, I can make the character spacing probably too tight for any student to read. Um, but I'm just going to bring that back to zero. So if you're trying to fit a little more information on a page, you don't want it to be two pages because you're environmental fr friendly. Uh, Mrs. McWilliams will be very happy that you're conserving some ink and conserving paper. I can scroll down here and just kind of bring the text character spacing a little bit closer. We can do the same thing with line. So all these are the same. Um, I can increase the distance in lines and I can decrease it. Um, obviously, you couldn't read this. Uh, but if you're trying to fit a little more information on a page or you're trying to just make a little more, have a page... Uh, information cover a page a little more so it looks like a full document you could use some line spacing before and after paragraph I think all these are self-explanatory I don't have any paragraphs selected right now um, so it's not showing these but I will cover these in another tutorial and then the margin spacing if we had a margin in here we could do insert some uh, margin spacing the next icon is list um, the list option gives us bulleting so uh, let's go ahead and uh, Let's put in a word here. Let's do word. Uh, work is fine. And I'm going to select that, copy it, and enter V. Enter v. Okay, so I've got a little list here. So I can show you bulleting. In this case, we can say text bullets. And it's a traditional text bullet. But I do want to show you here we have a drop down. We have lots of options for tech, tech bullets. We can do a check mark. Um, the alignment on how that, that bullet appears. We can go five points above. Uh, we can go down. Go back down to zero and let me highlight these and show you increase the size of this and don't worry i will cover how to increase font size the way i am by using shortcut keys okay 
so we've got the size increase so you can see what really happens and we can bring those check marks above that and make it look like superscript or subscript we can actually go down below you can see the, the the check mark is going below the words now and again shortcuts if you like the arrows use those hit enter bring that back to normal and so we've got a lot of options in here for text bullets and again we can pick a color so we can change it to a bright magenta close that out all right magenta close that out there we go and you can see not the words but the bullets which is what we're adjusting in here are actually uh, the bright pink so the other options we, we have image bullets and they're relatively uh, eye-pleasing uh, bullets and I've used these in a lot of documents I will use these in another example in this case uh, we have a, a little dot here I and mean, if you want them to appear on all these you just select that um, go ahead and go to select all of them go to image bullets and you can see the little balls have appeared on all those but as you scroll down here we've got a lot of different colors and probably too many for me to go down and, and check off we have check boxes um, a favorite one is the thumbtack and again you can make those go up or down below um, the words on that page in the size you can increase the size of them so they're bigger in proportion to uh, the text that they're beside that go 200 percent will really make them big see that the giant uh, thumbtacks now uh, so I'm gonna undo that Z, Z. okay now scale with text if I increase the size of my text the the um, the image will increase and let's see let me go ahead and increase the size of this one and I'll show you I'll jump and make it really big you can see here this thumbtack has increased with the size of the text because this box is checked if I select deselect that box and I increase the size of my text you can see here the thumbtack did not increase in size because that box was unchecked 